Hey guys, welcome to Agri and Me with me being Agri and you guys being the main part. Today, I'm going to be making some chilies rellenos. What I did was just get these chilies poblanos. There we go. And I actually burnt them. So I literally just put them on there, turned on the flame, low, low. And then I just burnt them up to a crust. The reason why they're inside of this bag with this cloth on top is because it's it's magic. It literally softens them up. You can peel the skin off because you don't want to eat the skin. The skin is too tough to eat. So we're going to peel off the skin and then we're going to cut out a little hole and take out the seeds. So that's actually what I'm going to do right now. That's the step that I'm on. I just need to make room because I made some arroz con leche. Nice. So I'm going to make some of that in the morning. Yes, it did overflow. And I'm also making some pumpkin seeds. Just need to clear it out a little bit so I can get to this peeling and then we're gonna move on to the next step. All right, so I'm gonna take out the one that I put in first because that's gonna be the softest one. And then, so what I'm gonna do with this is just peel it off. And that's all you do, just go ahead and peel it off. You don't, you can just go like a pushing motion, so you just push it off or you can just pull it off, but Either way, it's gonna be really messy because it's just a bunch of burnt flakes of skin. All right guys, so now they're all peeled and it is a little bit like, they get stuck everywhere. So they should be like this one and this one. It just happened to be that the bigger one I had a couple groups so I couldn't get that little bottom part. I could have just gone like that. And you can do that. You can definitely do that. I just didn't because I didn't think there would be people criticizing the way that I cooked. <laughs> now we're just going to make a slit and take everything out from the inside. I just wanted to show you guys quickly how I do that. I would at least once so you guys can get an idea about the size of the hole in any case. You can just put um, toothpicks inside and I might actually do that because I like to make sure it's not gonna come out. So let's go ahead and do that. All right guys, so like with a tiny one like this, you just have to make a little tiny hole. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it's just a little tiny one. That's not a tiny hole, but just enough to get through. And then you just open it up and you just move it and dig it out. So usually I go for the top I go and I get the strings from the top and pull them out and I just ripped it even more but you know what guys that's what toothpicks are for so that's what we do we just um, open it up you guys see those in there you guys want to take them out because as it is some of these are going to be spicy sometimes they are right are they spicy do you think sometimes 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 but this is a relatively not spicy dish so we're gonna do is just take out all the seeds just to make sure. And then so that's what I did with that one and we're just gonna do that with the rest. And there we go. So as you guys can now see, it's relatively empty. It only has like a little couple of them inside and I'm just gonna pick them out. But it just has to be relatively empty because there's a big difference between one and like 20 of them. So that's what I'm doing. We're making these because we have time. If you don't have time, don't make these because they can take a bit of time to make, not just with the burning them and peeling them and seeding them, but also because we're going to have to um, beat the egg so that we can actually put them inside. That takes some time too. All right, so these are all clean and they're ready to be stuffed with cheese. And what we're gonna do is just open them up here and stuff some cheese in there. You see, pretty clean. Let me just go get that cheese now. All right guys, so what I did was just cut up some queso fresco, which you can find at Aldi, you can find at Target, Walmart, Northgate, 
I don't know, Vallarta. But this one is just a relatively cheaper one, which tastes really good. So I would recommend this one. It's not, you don't need the branded, because what's it called? Casica or something. But we're gonna just start with stuffing them. So I'm just gonna take this one and just stuff it all the way down to the bottom. And then I can take this one, just put it right there in the top. So that's it. You pretty much just stuff it. You don't need it all over inside just because, I mean, when you cut into it, you'll get pieces of it. So we're going to do that. This is a little longer but skinnier, so we're just going to do a couple of these. So just two. Okay, so then we have this little tiny one, which is the one that kind of like ripped open. <laughs> But no problem. And with this one, I'll actually go ahead and show you guys how you guys can fix it. I'll show you guys how to put toothpicks in it so that we can salvage this one. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do is just take a toothpick, stick it right here, and just stick it through the other side. Let's not hide them because if we hide them, we don't want anyone to poke their mouth. I'm just going to get this. And try not to make it too to the edge or else it will rip through your chile. So this is perfect. We're just basically stitching it up. And the reason is I don't want it to come out when I dip it into the egg. So we're going to do that. So now we're actually going to move on to the egg. And for the egg, all we're going to need is... Well, we only have three. However, technically I'm going to use two eggs. But I'm gonna use three just because we have one chile missing, so we're gonna make extra egg so we can eat it on the side. So we're gonna need three eggs and also some flour because the flour helps it puff up. And that's really the secret of how to make chile rellenos. Without the flour, you're just gonna have some kind of chile smeared with eggs. Another big secret to actually making the very fluffy egg is to not get any yolk inside. I'm sorry guys, but this is not a vegan dish. So what we're gonna do is do it with our fingers. Why? Because it's literally the most efficient way. Like if you try any other way, you can get yolk in there. And you just put them to the side. You save them. Because we are going to need them. So this is just the yolk. Just leave them a little bit open and then it'll just, the white will just slip through your fingers. And we're gonna start beating these until they start getting light and airy and white and fluffy. Then I'm gonna show you when we add the flour. Hi, Zena. Why are you barking? My husband doesn't give me a stand mixer and I only have one hand mixer. And it only has this one. Nice. Because it got lost in this mess. <laughs> and it's not even connected. <laughs> Before you plug in. Alright guys, so once it's nice and fluffy just like this, like literally it's like stiff peaks. Mm, basically. What I'm gonna do is start adding some flour and then we're gonna add the yolks. And why? Because the flour, like I said, is just going to help it stay up. If you don't put flour, it's going to fall. You're not going to have the nice fluffy eggs on top of your cheese. What I'm going to do is just get some kitchen spoonfuls. Because people will be saying tablespoons, but I just, it's a kitchen spoon. It's a relatively small one. I'm just putting however much I want. So what I'm doing is just putting three. Three-ish spoon. So this is what it looks like. You guys can see, I just mixed it in there and it's pretty stiff. Like, it's gonna stay. So I'm actually gonna put one yolk in at a time and we're gonna start eating it. And you would put it in while you're beating the egg, but I don't have a sand mixer and I don't feel like doing that. So. Alright guys, so now I actually put a kumal in the fryer, so now it's warming up. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start dipping these beautiful chilies carefully inside of the egg. 
and we're just gonna flip it around. <gasps> it's okay. And we're gonna start cooking them on the coma. So, what I do is actually just put a little bit more on the top just because it does fall down. So, I just like to put more. Water, but this is just where I mix the consomme. So I'm just going to be putting some like that. I actually just put all of it. Why? Because we can. And right, we're going to put a can of tomato sauce. You can put tomato paste just because it's more concentrated. But um, we're using tomato sauce because it was 30 cents. Oh no, it was 25 cents. And tomato paste was like 50 cents. Alright guys, so I'm going to just mix it in here. But I'm going to add more water, but this is just to mix in that tomato sauce. And if you want to make it spicy, I don't know how you do that. Cayenne pepper. Alright guys, so, so far I've added about 5 cups of water with some consomme and also some tomato sauce. So now I'm just mixing it in and I'm going to let it boil before I actually put in the before I actually put in the chiles with the egg. So I'm just gonna pick them up and drop them in there. Alright guys, so this is pretty much it. We're just gonna let it sit and boil for a little bit and then after that, I'm just gonna show you guys how I put them in a plate and start eating them up because that's the only thing that's left. It's just um, this one was a little bit too big for the plate. That one's gonna be Brian's. But you can see here that even if it didn't have that much egg how I wanted it to have, it still ended up great because there's a bunch of egg just everywhere. And as we cut into it, you guys can see that nice little cheese. And so that's what you do, you just grab some of everything. And it's gonna be so hot. But let's go ahead and see how it came out. And then the caldo, it tastes delicious. You guys can put lemon, tapatio, valentino, whatever the heck you guys want. But I just like it plain like this because sometimes I just need to simplify my life. Okay, we can do this later. It's really hot. No, you have to try it. It's hot! delicious. No matter if it's scrambled eggs up in that plate, it still tastes delicious. I really like the taste of the chile. It's one of my favorites. Well, here's just some egg with some caldo because that's my favorite. Mm. Delicious. So, you guys can go ahead and try it yourself. Then again, this is Agari and me with me being Agari and you guys being the me part. I hope you guys learned something. If you guys end up making this again, just please go ahead and tag me at Agari. And go ahead and subscribe and turn on your post notifications for whatever comes up next. And also, go ahead and drop a like and a comment down below. And just let me know what you guys thought about this tutorial. But again, thank you guys for watching.